Hello and welcome to episode 67 of The Pilgrim Way, a Football Manager 2022 series here on Boston United FM. We've taken Boston United up from Conference North to the Premier League, but using a management model more common across Europe than in the depths of English football, where our Director of Football controls our transfers and contracts. Professor Jonathan Van Tam is our Technical Director, providing his medical expertise. We are about to complete February's fixtures and there is no better place to do so than Wembley Stadium as we face Aston Villa in the EFL Cup final. We've had a tough run in the competition, squeezing past Manchester United in the third round on penalties, but a kind draw gave us a two-legged semi-final against championship strugglers Reading, which saw us come through 9-1 on aggregate. We're currently on a five-match winning run including an FA Cup fourth round match against Brighton and Hove Albion, meaning we face Chelsea in the match following this final. We are sitting nicely in third place as we look to finish higher than last season's fifth place and qualify for the Champions League. Just 11 Premier League matches left and we have a five-point advantage over Manchester City in fifth. But we are just six points behind leaders Tottenham Hotspur. Manchester United are second. We are going as full strength as we can, with this being a Wembley final. We are missing left-back Alexander Tasso through suspension and January signing Gwynfor Aldridge. He's cup-tied. Yes, the same Aldridge that came through our youth system a few years ago and was sold for over half a million pounds while we were in League One. Amar Boussouf in midfield has now made 200 league appearances for the club and Vincenzo Di Vaio has recently come back from a long-term injury, scoring two fantastic goals in our last match. 37-year-old Phil Foden is on the bench alongside a new striker, Turkish 19-year-old Enes Kemaz, a £13 million signing from Basaksa here. He scored four times in the FA Cup win over Brighton. Let's get to Wembley. A chance of some silverware today as we face Aston Villa at Wembley in the EFL Cup final. You can see our form there. We've won our last five matches. Aston Villa haven't won any of their last five. We've got to be favourites for this match. We get the game kicked off. An early chance, it seems, in the first 30-odd seconds, the ball into the centre of the area. But it's cleared as we get it back. Here's Boussouf with the ball through for Duvayo. He's going through on goal, and we have scored in the first minute. For the second episode running, it's taken less than a minute to score a goal. Duvayo, he's recently come back from an injury, scored a couple of goals in the last match. He's run through from midfield and absolutely smashed the ball into the corner. We're 1-0 up. Coming up to the half an hour mark, here's Rodriguez on the ball to Boussouf. Finds Rodriguez again. Checks back. That's a nice easy chance there for Enrique Ledesma. And he makes it 2-0. We are marching towards the EFL Cup. Aston Villa haven't had a chance so far. Rodriguez with the ball inside the area. Checks back. Ledesma a couple of yards out. And we are two goals to the good. A free kick from Aston Villa. They've headed the ball in at the far post. It's being checked by VAR. But it has been given. Imbert Thomas at the far post. Game on. The last minute of the first half, Boussouf with the ball to Wang. He's running inside the penalty area. He's gone past everybody and he's smashed the ball past the goalkeeper as well. He gives us a 3-1 lead going into half time. We've got our two-goal cushion back and we're back to being strong favourites for this trophy. Just seems to run diagonally at the goal and then smashes the ball in from eight yards out. 3-1 3-1 is the half-time score. We've got to be happy with how we've played. We've dominated the ball. We've had more shots, more shots on target and a greater XG. 
we are deservedly ahead at Wembley. Have to be pleased with how the players are playing as we go into the second half. Aston Villa with the ball down the right-hand side, but Foden steals the ball off them. But we do give the ball away. Here's Marrera. He's through on goal, but it's a fantastic save by Liuzzi. 93 minutes gone. We're into the last few seconds of stoppage time, surely. And there is the full-time whistle. And we are receiving the EFL Cup. The trophy's lifted in celebration. It does guarantee us at least Europa Conference League football for next year. But obviously we've got eyes on the bigger prize in the league as we look to go for an unlikely title challenge as well as looking for a Champions League spot for next season. We can tell the players to enjoy themselves. As confirmed there, we do indeed win the EFL Cup, beating Aston Villa three goals to one. It was Villa who actually won the competition last year, so we've taken the trophy away from them. You cannot be anything less than happy with that. One competition down and we're still in three others. Chelsea up next in the FA Cup and we have recently had the draw for the second knockout round of the Europa League and we will play PSV Eindhoven. March is certainly a key month for the rest of our season as we look to confirm a top four place in the Premier League and go deep into both cup competitions. We'll come back for the next episode, likely in April, ideally for a semi-final of either the FA Cup or the Europa League. If you've enjoyed the content of this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And for more videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.